Muffin! Mm. By the way, guys, this is an audio mukbang that you're listening to right now. He's um, literally uh, going down on that muffin like it's a woman's pussy. Call and, me uh, Nintun, uh, Nintunato Muffin Kato. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but... Anyways, guys, welcome. What would my YouTube channel be if I was a mukbang content creator? If I just decided to stop everything and just gain 200 pounds? I would be concerned for you, honestly. I'd probably message uh, yeah. you, like, yeah. throughout the week. It's like, bro, you okay? <laughs> well, well I, I think I'd be nin ninfoodist. <laughs> ninfoodist, I guess. I think that's what I would be. roll off the tongue as well as no. nintoonist. Yeah, but those muffins would <laughs> No, those muffins will be rolling out of your asshole. <laughs> welcome, to the, welcome to the Double D experience, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have Evan on, because he asked. Because he has that privilege. He can ask to be on the show. And there's that Asian privilege. Yo, Hi. Yeah, he's got that Asian privilege. I've noticed that all like the closest people in my life are Asian. It's probably for good reason, man. No, 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 We're seriously. At... No, seriously. You, Evan, Marcy. I, I, I like, hmm. uh, who else? Um, Is that it? <laughs> it's like yo, all these Asians in my life names like three yeah, of them, yeah, and it's just like yeah, all these Asians. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not racist. I have Asian friends. Bro, you sound, you, bro, you gotta stop. Friend, bro. You, you gotta oh, stop. Man. You gotta I stop. Bro. I have here. Asian friends. You have to bro, stop. I, I can't be racist. I have Asian friends. <laughs> you literally would replace Asian with black. It'll just sound just. Actually, no, it'll sound worse. But yeah, just It'll, stop yeah. while you're ahead, my friend. <laughs> No, my parents just got back from Miami, mm. and they got me those freaking like Cuban shirts, like with the patterns on them and everything, like okay. those white, like the white shirts, this pink one. So that I'm gonna be authentic Cuban for once. It's gonna be for great. Once authentic he Cuban, authentic. Not Wonder Bread Cuban. He's gonna be authentic Cuban. <laughs> Wonder Bread. Top That's ten good. unique ways to kill yourself is to walk down a street in Havana and yell "Viva Fidel" at the top of your lungs. And then just watch the life leave your eyes, like, very quickly. Yeah, someone just quickly <laughs> stabs you in the spine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, you bubba, made up, made up! How you doing, Evan? Welcome back. I'm doing good, yes. I mean, I was about um, to introduce your show here. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fucking stripped down no, there with like... the muffin in my mouth. I'm eating a muffin. Um, okay, oh, guys, man. I guess, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was the intro. That was the intro. The fucking... Uh, do, you the think they have Asian, do you think they have Asian friends at uh, Bungie? I mean, I guess. In what context? Like, I guess, I, like, the uh, workers? Like, I guess. Yeah, I can't, I can't be a pseudo capitalist money grubber. I have Asian if friends. I, yeah, so, because, oh, you know, man. Just, I love to underpay my workers just like Asians, right? Just like, just like China, yeah. Uh, <laughs> fill me in, Evan. This is what you wanted to come on the show to talk about. Yes. I'm pretty uneducated on the situation. Yeah, All so, I know is that there were a lot of layoffs. Oh, man. And, Love me um, some context here. All I did here like, was about the layoffs. That's all I heard as well. Is so, it like the David Zaslov situation at Warner Brothers where they canceled the Wile E. Coyote movie like, so they well, could put it off as a tax write-off? Is it like for money purposes? Like what's, no, I so, it the, so it was for money purposes, but it was mostly because they missed their target um, number. Or their target profits by forty five percent for the quarter. So like it for was the like, quarter. Okay, okay. For the right. quarter, yeah. So okay. what they ended up doing was they laid off like a hundred plus employees at a three hundred mm -hmm. at a four hundred employee plus company. So mm -hmm. they I'm gonna eat this basically fucking walnut. <laughs> so yeah, continue, the, continue. Pro the problem the with the way they laid people off was they went, oh, we're not gonna tell anybody. That they're laid off. They're just gonna try to sign in to work and then just be not there. <laughs> Google and, did that. Yeah. Google did that during their layoffs. There were literally just rumors circulating around the company, and then when certain like remote employees tried to log into their shit, and they in the just morning, it just didn't. It didn't work because they they yeah. don't even have the balls to tell people that you're well, fucking fired anymore. So it's really stupid because the reason they do that is specifically so that they don't make a rise of it on social media, which I mm -hmm. find is a little concerning because it still makes a rise on social media. But like they find out either way. They end yeah, up finding like, out all, either way. They usually find genocide. out by Twitter. There's <laughs> exactly. a genocide. It's happening. like, why would you even try to keep it a secret? Like, yeah, when they're like, going to find out about it eventually, like after a week or two. And then you're just even more in hot water because yeah. they found out and you were stupid and you lied about it. <laughs> I There's think a the genocide best... happening in Gaza right now that a whole government tried to suppress. And that shit will wind up on Twitter.com. 
You think your fucking company is going to, like, <laughs> there, there's be no able to do this kind no of shit? Yeah, exactly. that shit? Yeah, exactly, yeah. We, we yeah, say up? our bullshit about Twitter.com. The website actually has done good. It's done yeah. good for that no, no, reason, yeah, yeah, exposing yeah, a lot of bullshit. That is we, one oh, yeah. good thing about we, the website. I say we, a lot of bad things about Twitter. I think it's done a lot of net harm for society. We just don't like it's it as a good whole. Things. We just don't like it as a whole. We, I mean, we yeah. under, like, we understand that it obviously, yeah, it has done some good in the past. I will acknowledge that, as everyone should. But, man, that platform fucking sucks, man. That, that platform is, is just, like, it is culturally significant in the fact that it's completely... Brain you dead. can't you you can't you can't not hear of Twitter exactly. I like yeah. to think no that way. um, I like to think that uh, I like to equate Twitter to a fucking bloody Tinder box. It's this it's this it beautiful just blows up. It's, it's this beautiful <laughs> Tinder box house, but it's so fucking subject to be lit on fucking fire at any moment. <laughs> It's kind of like it... Luigi's Mansion in that sense. That's what I'd do if I were Luigi. I would just want to get the fire metal in that game. I would just light that whole fucking bitch on fire. I'm just imagining Luigi Mario's going in the basement. like... He'll be fine. Mario's in the fucking bloody basement. He's not even gonna burn. That reminds me of like those fucking videos where it's like... You play the game, but you know what to do, and it's just Luigi burning the house. <laughs> like, the That's entire what me and Dennis mansion. did, like, in our Let's Play of it way back in the day when we made that- those shitty-ass Let's Plays. Like, we tried to light the mansion on fire. It didn't work. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, um, Yeah. Anyway, so the- the mm -hmm. worst layoff was some- was some, uh, Michael Salvatore or something like that, right? I can't remember his- if that's his actual name. But he was the composer of Destiny music and Halo's mm. music, and he was laid off in the same manner as anyone, everyone else. <laughs> and the reason why that was, like, so significant is because it's like laying off the composer from Mario. It's like, why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like... Well, it exactly. makes, he, he still works there. Uh, yeah. fucking, um... Koji, um... Koji, Koji Kondo? Koji Kondo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Koji Kondo. He still, he's, he's still, yeah, he still works for Nintendo after all these years. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, I'm pretty. He That's... either does or is a creative consultant. But yeah, it's just like mm -hmm. it's like laying off that guy and expecting it to go over well. It's like, huh? <laughs> how do, how does this make any sense? <laughs> Eastern game developers do what Western <laughs> There's, don't. That, but there, the there was no is... way to make that roll off the tongue. You see, <laughs> yeah, you see like... what I was going for there? I was trying to do the Sega do it, Nintendo don't, and I just, I just, yeah, I, I'm not a rope harder than Bungie. <laughs> the other part of it is too, at least if we're talking mostly about um, Bungie and even a few other companies that have like uh, downsized over the last like couple of months to year, Epic Games, yeah. Google, like even and a lot of these other ones that I'm about to name off, they're not exactly game companies, but like you know, um, Nokia, Geico, even like, yeah. LinkedIn, LinkedIn T-Mobile, and a couple of others. Oh, like, my dad could tell you some fucking stories about Geico. My father's oh, a workers. Boy. My father's a workers compensation attorney. It's his job oh. to get the insurance money for people when mm -hmm. like some job, some yeah. shitty job breaks their shit. My father once got a ridiculous amount of money for a guy who got his dick severed <laughs> on a job once. Truck backed up to him when he was at a gas station, like and he didn't notice he was there, and snap, and he got it reattached. But it's not the same. No. Afterwards. Uh, and my oh, father got him man. mad money. Oh. My father can tell you when those insurance fuckers decide not to try to pay their employees. Oh, he's a shark. He'll he'll get you your money. Good. He'll get <laughs> you. Mean, he'll get. He'll get dead. you the fuck the fuck your money. He'll get you doing the Lord's work. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> my father. He's one of the best types of lawyers. Like he's the mm. kind who literally stands up to the fucking insurance companies. The most the root of yeah, <laughs> evil, evil in this fucking world. You talk about Dennis saying talking about the other shitty companies. And like you know, you for, know. and just I, from what I've kind of gathered from a lot of. Not even like real data that I've been looking at, just because I've not really been looking at this like uh deeply as mm -hmm. I'm sure other people have. But like, you know, even like mega corporations, like even like Disney, they've taken losses repeatedly this year on yeah. terribly shitty movies and 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 among <laughs> others, you know, among other things. The Marvels was the lowest uh grossing Marvel movie. And of let me all just time. say, oh off man, of, I have... off, mm -hmm. off of what David just said. Who is surprised? Hey, you know, you honestly, know really, who is surprised like that this really would have flopped? Funny, that what's really funny about that movie is nobody thought it was going to do well, and everyone was just like, we "Why is this releasing? It. Why is we this all releasing?" Knew it. <laughs> nobody thought this movie was gonna be any good at all. Nobody apparently, thought that. And Make apparently, movie the with villain protagonist, yeah. 
Apparently the villain was like the worst villain in the Marvel MCU, which is a very low bar that they somehow pass. <laughs> I well, the, here's the thing. I thought the villain in Iron Man 1 was the worst villain there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you like, are already going to make your protagonist, like, you're piss scared to make your protagonist flawed because you think making them flawed means woman weak, and so you're afraid <laughs> to do that. And then you're piss scared to do that with your villain too? <laughs> oh, no. Fuck off. Holy shit, fuck, Disney's so fucking ass now. The best thing Disney has made, probably, in the last goddamn, like, ten years, would be that new game, Disney Dreamlight Valley, that just came out. And I don't even think it's because just, of them. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just Animal Crossing uh, with Disney. With Disney like, characters, like, yeah. Yeah, which is and really, which is really... Oh, Loki's my neighbor. It's like Animal Crossing. Yeah, basically, like, Loki's my neighbor and shit like that. <laughs> but, but Dianus, don't you wanna go fishing with Goofy? With Goofy? It's like, no, I wanna, hang out. I wanna hang out with Thanos, Goofy. Fuck off. <laughs> Yo, I wanna hang out with Thanos in his fucking garden. After he destroyed half the universe. I think that game universe. actually looks kinda cool, though. I, I can't even front. I think it, it has looks microtransactions kinda... now. Or it's gonna oh, get them soon. Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, Never yeah. mind. Fuck that yeah. shit. Never Good, mind. And Never also, mind. Never Dis mind. Disney also just recently released a, a TCG as well. Lorcana. Yep. And I have oh, a couple right. friends who actually picked up the game. And Ooh. I saw how much that first booster box was. Oh. Yo, like... I I mean, I thought Yu-Gi-Oh players spent some spent some bread to get that cardboard. Lorcana players be a bit be a bit built different, just a little bit. And it's like it's like the Apple of card games. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> like it's a premium that they pay in for them uh for them boxes. It's crazy. What what do Disney trading card game players smell like because just you like you real you... players it's the no, same thing there's no way. <laughs> it's the same no, thing if they're that expensive i would imagine that there would be a trading card game like subset of like a particular type of white woman <laughs> that would go to these things and then just nah, play them and nope. they yeah. smell like you know buttery but no they don't you know you want to know something at least in the Yu-Gi-Oh community we have like one chick who is pretty big on the social media and like she like makes content and all that and like she doesn't even act like I act like all like, <laughs> oh my god, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it's just more like, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. I have tits. Damn right. Hello. Yeah. And like, yeah, and hello. like, you know, basically, hello. My name, hello. I think her name's uh, Rini. And like, I remember like a bunch of my uh, friends um, who play the game. They like, some of them, I think low-key kind of simp for her, but I think it's like playfully simping. But I'm like, every, but then I joke, it's like, but she just a pretty girl who play card game. Like, mm. like who, pretty like, girl play card game. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And then it's like, I'll oh, Ugg, and then, you know, that's it. That's all I'll there is you, to um, it. <laughs> difference between the FGC and Smash, among many things, is that in the one, like, FGC tournament I went to, there were a lot more women, which was, was unsurprising as it was sad. And well, some of them are even, com <laughs> some of them are even competitors as well. And they yep. don't care. And they will do what Dennis just said in respectfully simp for them. Like, they'll say something like that, but you know it's, like, disingenuine. Smashers, yeah. on the other hand... No, they'll ask. Like, they'll, they'll ask for them chicks to spit in their mouths. Yeah, like, they're they're not. Like, yeah, they're not, yeah. yeah, they're they're not humans. No, they're 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 not human beings. They're scum. Like I, they're I scum. hate Smashers. I love the game so much. I I fucking hate the community. I'll, I sound I'll say like that. such like a like an alpha Chad saying that if you ask a woman to spit in your mouth, you're fucking scum. Like it's some real Tate shit. But like no, I honestly, I, I I hate hearing that. It's like look, yeah. Smash, oh yeah, please spit in my mouth. It's like fuck off, no, man. Fuck off, oh, dude. I hate it. You know, Smash touch get a grass for once in your life. Touch a teeth. <laughs> bad rap, but when you actually go to one of these things, they're nice. But I mean, like the community, you know, the the reason we're also stereotyping the, here. We're stereotyping well, the, hard No, no, no. Here. But the reason things happen there in the way that they do is because Smash Brothers, unlike all these other sponsored tournaments, is a grassroots scene. Like you know, they don't have the money, the resources, <clears throat> or the know-how that any of these <clears throat> deals have to deal with like those kinds of like sexual harassment or assault <laughs> issues and quite frankly why would a woman be comfortable in a male dominated space to begin with some of them are already un uncomfortable going it's not to male FGC dominated it's male, male children dominated David. yeah big difference very big <laughs> difference come on man Look, we're painting my, my... negative stereotypes here i've had some of the i got mine into i dude i'm the peak of irony all right i literally got a job working for a nintendo because of smash Man said I'm him of irony. <laughs> I am him of irony, motherfucker. Look at my titties right now. I'm not wearing a shirt. Man also straight up like makes it a habit to talk shit on Nintendo. But as soon as he puts that shirt on, he's just like, okay, I'm gonna have to quiet down for a little bit because in case they find out, I'm kind of fucked. So like, I'm so sure this job is over. Nintendo consoles today. <laughs> Listen, man, I work through them through the third party, which means I don't have to be a full representative of the company. I can say like, this is where you're fucking up. All right. Also, David, one of the things they ask you when you apply for a job at Nintendo, they ask you if you have a blog. 
Yeah, David. Which is also, why I could never work for them. That, that's why I was saying I, li- I literally never can, which if, sucks. If the day comes, if the day comes where you do get picked up by Nintendo, this podcast is over. I know. I'm gonna tell you a hundred percent right now. This podcast is gonna get erased. We, it's gonna be in your contract terms. Can, erase this podcast. Every episode is just gonna be us tiptoeing the fuck around, whatever the guidelines are gonna put on you. And I am gonna also be beholden to it as well. And then I'm just gonna be like, David, at this point, we're just gonna have to talk about how much we love Nintendo. It's like it's either that or we shut it down. And then it's like I will hate myself if we pick the former. And I'm gonna and hate you even, by extension. And you're not even on their fucking payroll, and like you have to. I'm abide, not even on their like, payroll. No, like yeah, exactly. I'm beholden to their standards. Like that would you know be some be fuck like? shit. You want to know what it would be like? It would be like the Blackjack minigame in Resident Evil 7 where they have like the shock thing on the table, like their hand is just like right here, like their hand is face yeah. down with like all like the knives over each individual finger, and like we have to really watch what we say, otherwise like those things one at a time is just gonna like chop them off with like a fucking femur breaker. That's what would actually happen, bro. Oh yeah, oh, so, man. but at least, wait, going back to at least, um, with, uh, Bungie, sorry guys, we sidetracked there a little bit, <laughs> but, um, at least, uh, it just seems that, you know, for the last, like, year, it just seems like companies have just been, left and right, been taking losses, and just at least meeting their, whatever their financial expectations were for the quarters, like, they just haven't really been meeting them, and I think... This year has kind of already proven to especially people or companies that um, create media and um, and they sell it as like, you know, like this is the services and products that we uh, sell to you and we provide for a lot of those companies. It just seems like I think it this year has proven that y'all need to stop making mediocre shit if you want to stop taking those losses every quarter because well. Uh, like at least think well let me just say one thing because at least in the case of destiny destiny for a while was making money they were doing dope yeah they were doing very well and it's not even just off of game sales it's obviously microtransactions like the store was the big part of the reason why that at least that game was like just so financially speaking successful and i'm and i've played the game enough too where i know that the game has plenty of content for you to uh to buy <laughs> and digest <laughs> so at the very least it's like i can't say that like there's nothing in there but from like what i've seen though it's like destiny kind of has that problem where like they just think for at least as far as expansions new enemy to fight new pl- n- new zones to fight in pvp obviously like you know has like its own like few additions that they add in there and uh, here and there but it's like other than that it's like you're paying $40, nearly $40 for that expansion. And it's not even that much of a fucking expansion to begin no, with. No, and now and now like the new expansion is like what? Like 70, maybe 60 for per expansion now? Yeah. The last expansion was I think 60. Keep six, going, I'm going to look that up. Was 50 or $60 to actually like just play Lightfall. Like just to play Lightfall. It was like by the way, here's $50 you have to pay in order to pay play this expansion. Oh my god, on- yeah, Lightfall was $50. It was 50 Oh bucks. my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's top- criminal. And you know like, what's actually sad- criminal? <laughs> you know what's even sadder about Destiny? Um did you you guys probably haven't heard of like their their like GDC or something like a talk that they had with like potential investors and whatnot? Mm-mm. They had this talk where they were like, we are trying to bungee. This is all bungee people saying we are trying mm-hmm. to drive player uh, retention. That, mm-hmm. That's all they were driving. And the worst the worst thing you could have in any a- aspect is apathy. We don't care if we're we're hated. At least people know we're here. Mm-hmm. Apathy. And I'm like, that's <laughs> that's the complete the complete opposite of what bungee was back then. <laughs> because a lot of the old guard have left. That's yeah, the thing. Even well, before they split off into 343 and like, you know, all the yeah. guys that still wanted to make Halo games, like they went off Stuck to 343. Stuck with Halo 3, yeah. But like, you know, even after that, like one by one, a lot of them just like, just left. The last, like, I, the last, the last holdout was Michael Salvatore, I think. Like the composer. Mm-hmm. I think he was like one of the last and the guy who made the Halo 2 logo and art design. Yeah. Like, and even they're, before they're him, gone. even before him, Martin O'Donnell. Yeah, he did He's gone. literally the OG Halo uh, soundtracks as well with Michael Salvatore, I believe. So, yep. yep, like you know, a lot of them guys like 
Like, it's almost the same, like, synonymous sort of thing that happened with uh, Blizzard and Overwatch. That team lost so much, like, people. They hemorrhaged who, people. They hemorrhaged, <laughs> well, like, they even lost Jeff, man. <laughs> like, that already told me, like, if this guy who already kind of knew, like, he already knew about Blizzard scumminess, but, like, he had to put the, like, the, the, the happy face mask in front of everybody whenever he did those game, uh, the uh, Jeff game addresses. From the Overwatch team. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, he always had to put that mask on and, like, just kind of talk to people about the game, but he knew everything that was going on, hence why he left. I, I know this may sound a lot like hearsay, but I truly feel sure he, that's why he left. Yeah, like, he knew. And he knew this is not the same company that, like, started off to make this game either. Like, the old Blizzard 2 is gone. Oh, old yeah. Bungie is gone. Like, <laughs> Activision Blizzard is, like, a disgusting pile of dog shit, like, <laughs> if by comparison to Speaking even any of, other company. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of Activision Blizzard and just Blizzard or Activision in general, mm -hmm. the new Modern Warfare was so ass. Don't even get me. You know what, David? No, no, David. Started. David, go. Do, do a go rant. On. Do a rant right now. Oh, I want to hear this. Oh, boy. Listen, I don't buy COD. Anymore. I'm pirated. The, no. last, <laughs> the last one I bought and even played was Cold War, which I genuinely enjoyed. Cold I War actually was, liked, a, was pretty badass, I heard. I it was pretty really good. liked the campaign. Yeah. I loved the campaign, actually. Um, Zombies was phenomenal. <laughs> before, campaign. you know, yeah, yeah. The campaign was, no, the campaign was great. I'm not the biggest multiplayer <laughs> guy, but multiplayer was really good, too, before they did, like, the ranked shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would play with Lardo. Evan and like yeah. Lardo actually grinded multiplayer and I would play in a lobby with him and because he was in the oh. lobby we were in the higher ranked lobbies and I couldn't oh. fucking move like I couldn't, couldn't move play. like I couldn't, couldn't play, play, play the video game, game. and it Takes was two steps I had domed. a horrible time <laughs> yeah but then zombies while the story felt was promising at first got like led up to nothing which like fucking mm. sucked it got worse <laughs> as it went on the gameplay more than made up for it like they made so many amazing quality of life changes in Cold War it was so mm. good and then they made Vanguard <laughs> Like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> Vanguard. Like, Vanguard oh, was literally Vanguard. inflation. You got 10 points for killing a zombie, but all the perks were the same fucking prices. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Are you fucking stupid? Like, how did you let that happen? Hey. And then the objective based thing. The zombies had guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, had a mini, they had a minigun. What is the point? What is the point of zombies? <laughs> and the, here's the thing, like, not even to go off about zombies, which I'm not even gonna do. I haven't brought up Modern Warfare 3. Dennis, to put things in perspective for you, IGN shat on Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I've heard, I heard that. Oh, yeah. IG you know, fucking N. The biggest fucking cock meat riders of Call of Duty that has ever oh. existed. Game of the year, 9.8 out of 10, 9.8 out of 10. Peak gaming, Call of Duty does it again. They said it was legitimately the worst Call of Duty of all time, which borderline... It might be. The oh, campaign... Well. <laughs> the campaign... Was the worst Call of Duty campaign in the history of Call of Duty campaigns. Can I ask... It was how, so... It, oh, do you want to know how, why? Well, how did it compare to the second one that released previously? It was significantly worse. De Dennis. You don't the understand. The campaign... <laughs> half of the campaign was just scrapped together Warzone missions. They didn't even function, Dennis, like actual, like, normal Call of Duty campaign levels. They literally were war zone missions. Half of them, just open world maps that you put, they plopped the player in a war zone map, added some shitty, like, you know, Star Fox, you know, fucking, like, comms dialogue over it, and that was it. <laughs> That was literally oh, it. Not to mention, they the bring Makarov back, like, to try to hype oh, it up. Yeah. And I don't, I don't even care about spoilers. I'm fucking, no, 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 I'm no. fucking saying it. Go ahead, Evan. No, it was just like, the fucking story was so, like, nothing happened. Like, nothing was yeah. resolved. <laughs> nothing fucking happens the entire time. Like, they capture Makarov in, like, a flashback, and then they <laughs> don't kill him. For, like, no reason. They don't even There's fucking say no why reason. they don't do it. And the character, like, development is awful because Soap wanted to kill him and Price was the one who actually let him live. Which, 
It was so ass backwards. Like literally so like goes to show they don't even understand the characters that we're writing, which shit on the legacy of the originals. And then for no reason, th like they don't capture Makarov, nothing happens. Then and then Soap just gets killed in the last mission because they realize, oh shit, we need something to happen here. And then just Soap just dies. <laughs> and that's it. That's literally Unint the end. Like, Unintent unintentionally happened. the most hilarious scene in that game was Ghost wearing his like mask at his, the funeral that they had for Soap. Yeah. It was unintentionally hilarious because it was his original mask. But I'm like, why is he wearing a mask with only the other t his team members there? Like, what is. <laughs> like, literally, nothing happens. It's insane. There's no and set pieces either. Yeah. And it's oh, not yeah, even which the originals like were so known for. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, like, this is also a way more higher budget game. And, like, you guys don't well. even put. The zero excuses. Set pieces in there? What? They only So I I learned about the development for Modern Warfare 3 and went, man, I hate Activision. I don't hate the developers. I hate Activision. Because this game was meant to be, I, I'm sure you probably know, was meant to be like a DLC to Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. Right? I, I think we that, all that, kind that, of felt that. that I don't even play the game, but sense. it felt that way. It felt they that had, way. They it had a year and a yeah. half to develop this game. They turned it into a game after... Uh, that Halfway is through the, the development. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, because Bobby Kotick was the one to say, hey, we should just make it a game because I need money. <laughs> I'm already on my way out, too. So it's just like, I'm going to just cash yeah. in before like Microsoft that, inevitably like gets rid of me. So Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Like Bobby Kotick was saying, we need to make this a video game because we're missing our target for this year. Even though they ma he made the decision to say, hey, we shouldn't make a COD this year. <laughs> You, you know what? You know what? One thing I hope the video game awards do this year. Oh yeah, there wasn't I, supposed to be one this year, right? There wasn't, there wasn't supposed to be one. Oh shit! I completely forgot about that. I hope the yeah. next one oh, they have, fuck. they have a worst game of the year. And I hope <laughs> to God that COD gets that slapped right on them because I think it really needs to kind of like be mm. told to everybody. They need to be. Uh, they need to be made an example of because. Oh, yeah. COD, for all the shit that we give it, and I'm a Halo boy, I Me was too. a Halo boy for a long time, and like, you know, we collectively shitted on COD for a good while, and even Halo's kind of had its ups and downs the last, like, sort of couple years, so like, you know, it's we- It's good now, but yeah. Yeah, exactly, but the thing was, was that there was a whole period of time where we were pretty shit, and yeah. like, so, we've been through that, and we've, and we've learned, but that took a couple years, and- COD has had a couple years where they've been shit or just painfully mediocre. And, like, even though, like, the COD's origins were in World War II, right? And yeah. they even made a World War II game, which was... Yeah. It, oh. like, was so bad. So fucking bad. And honest to God, like, you know, COD still, like, you know, because it's... The campaigns were, like, you know, were nothing really, like that deep or you know i want to say like complicated in a sort of sense but like the the entertainment they gave you was something that i will remember like forever i think call of duty 4's campaign like the original four and was, maybe like two yeah and yeah. two and like also yeah modern warfare um two and three like that whole trilogy like thing is still like to this day like like peak cod in my opinion and World at War, even just going back to its World War II roots, the atmosphere of that game is like something that I've never seen before in a COD game. I've yeah. never felt oh, yeah. like that, just like you're eerie, in a war. Yeah, <laughs> like, and that eeriness that it sort of gave you that, like, you know, like, I'm not going to say it was like, oh, Dude. yeah, man, it was so historically accurate running through a building and having 10 grenades thrown at you, and like, apparently you <laughs> lived through all of them. But, like, like, my point is, is that at least, you know, the. As David even said before about game feel, like, that is just so fucking important, like, when you're playing a video game. And if it's missing, your game already loses, like, three, four points, like, right off the bat for me. Because if I don't feel, like, if I'm not immersed, I, I guess that's, like, probably the best way I could say it. Like, if I'm not immersed in your video game, I don't really care for it. I'm sorry. Like, I don't really, like, I'm not really truly enjoying myself. Like, we were even talking about, uh, Evan, like, um, the original, Spy uh, not original, but like, at least the first PlayStation, uh, Spider-Man game, uh, oh, from yeah. Insomniac. 
and oh, how yeah. just like you felt like Spider-Man the moment you started just swinging through the city. And yep. I never fast traveled in that <laughs> game ever. I had never touched it, period. I just always I swung. Even if it took me 10 minutes, I'd be like, oh, I could go from this one end of New York to the other and just swing up and down like things sure the, uh, through uh, New York. And Dude. like, I would love it. And I, I think saw... it's just missing. It's just missing nowadays, that sort of thing. Like game yeah. feel. It's just yeah. it really missing is. from so many fucking uh, companies now. Like, I could care less about Modern Warfare 3, but and it's you know like, the, you, you know already the feel this is? is shallow as hell. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. The sad part is, even though they're this is the shittiest COD, probably the worst reviewed, well, definitely the worst reviewed COD of all time, it'll still be like the best-selling game of the year. Like, j j just hands down. This, this year, fam? I don't know. No, it, it it's already broken, not broken records, it's already met expectations for Activision. Uh, which I mean, is like medics really like how much yeah. did, i mean i guess it's got call of duty on it which it's got call of this the brand is just too big but it'll if they keep doing this like the shittiness of cod as in like they keep making shit after shit it'll eventually go down yeah. but right now it's everything it's too early this, even with everything that's been announced this year like this was such a humongous year for gaming oh, yeah as the gaming industry becomes like you know bigger than the fucking movie one and the views of the game awards will definitely reflect that we can talk about the game awards nominations for game of the year which actually just dropped today as yep, a matter of i fact. was looking at them <laughs> yeah yeah um it, that's probably only gonna get worse as you have like you know fucking rapists like bobby kotick like you know out here like you know not only raping women but also the industry as well that they go in like the guy was on the board of investors for coca-cola like he's literally just like hey you 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 want money you you sit in this chair you get money one of the most pieces, <laughs> biggest pieces money. of shit of all time yeah the, the worst thing about the old call of duties mm -hmm. the worst thing about the model the original modern warfare trilogy is that the the span of the russian invasion happens in like a week like it's very unrealistic the timing is very fucked up like I will say about it, but everything else is golden. The lore of those games are actually run crazy. And you were talking about the fucking World at War, how immersive that game was. I remember the mission where you're storming the fucking Reichstag and on like the yeah. fucking radio, yeah, yeah. and then on the radios you can literally hear the music playing. It's like dun 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 dun, and I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh fuck, fuck, yeah, this is crazy. And then to capitalize off of like the tiny amount of lore that World at War created. With Call of Duty Black Ops, yeah. which was canon oh, with World man. of War. Black Ops 1, which I don't give a fuck to this day. That is the best Call of Duty. Still the best Call of Duty. I don't give a Campaign, fuck. Campaign, definitely, yeah. I think the Black Cam Ops series were just solid overall. So Black really? Ops in no, no. general was Nigga. solid. 2 was the probably... I think 2 was probably the best multiplayer-wise in terms they of... They uh, got worse as okay, they Okay, so it was like a bit of a mixed bag after the first Black one. Black Ops 3's yeah. campaign was insanely oh. boring. And okay. It was insanely boring, but it has the best zombies because of the custom Just zombies. Just customs. Mm -hmm. Legitimately, I, Evan can vouch for me in the calls that I've had with this man. Do not get me started on Black Ops 4. <laughs> Do not fucking get me started on that fucking game. Do not get me fucking started. I thought Advanced Warfare was pretty good. Hey guys, Kevin the campaign... Spacey. The campaign is going really, really good. Like, we're, we're about halfway done with it. They're like, Yo, you guys know what's really good right now? Fortnite. We should make our own Fortnite. Oh. Guys, let's do Fortnite. And so they scrapped the campaign halfway like eight, through. I, I think it was like 80% completion. of the way done. Destroys the multiplayer, by the way, which has absolutely no merit due to the absence of a campaign. And also no reason, considering it has a fucking battle royale implemented all into it all of a sudden. And then they're just like, you want to scrap all of that? Just like to like make a shitty Fortnite clone that no one's gonna play because they can play Fortnite for free. <laughs> yes, I think I think they and were then copying the more. The worst like... part, the worst part about all that is, was like, okay, oh shit, we forgot about zombies, <laughs> and that's why zombies in that game was so fucking bad. And just before we even thought zombies could get fucking any worse, Vanguard. <laughs> Yo, well, I will say, you don't understand, say... Dennis, Dennis. <laughs> There were constant debates as to what was the worst, like, zombies game. Because everybody- there were people who liked Black Ops 4, mm -hmm, people who yeah. hated Exo Zombies, some people who liked it. Constant debate, you know, really, among the Call of Duty Zombies community. Everyone came together. 
when Van Gogh came out and condemned that fucking All game. shook hands and said, yes. That is how bad it was. And they advertised <laughs> it as a prequel to Cold War II, a prequel to a spinoff story that nobody asked for, <laughs> and then it had nothing to do with that on top of it. I'm going to plug uh, a video from Our Hungry really quick, who made a video on why Call of Duty 4 is one of the most influential video games of all time, because it destroyed the FPS genre for a while. Oh, yeah. Oh, Think it about definitely it. did. Yeah. Call of Duty 4. It and Halo 3 were titans, basically. Yeah. Like, they just couldn't beat them. Call of Duty 4 is the reason. I mean, it's a phenomenal game, and it changed the landscape of the FPS industry, but not always for the better, because it literally changed games like Bioshock into the unique thing that they were, into Bioshock Infinite. A game that I still really love, because oh, probably love because it was the first Infinite. Bioshock game I play. I love it. It's a Call of Duty campaign. <laughs> and you can't say the same thing for the other Bioshock games. It's way more nope. open world, way more free-flowing, mm. mission-oriented, item-based. The level design in Infinite is way more linear. Linear. Way yeah, it's linear. Way yeah, more that. linear. And a lot of games actually followed suit because of that formula, because of how amazing Modern Warfare sold, and how it completely changed the landscape of that industry. And please set go the check standard, out I guess. Hungry. So it, it, set, it, the set, the, it set the standard really high, too. Yeah. 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 Please, please, please go check out Our Hungry's um, um, YouTube video on it. He's a good friend of mine. He makes really good video essays. That's my favorite video of his, probably, bar none. But, um... Yeah, how about them? Uh, how about them game of the year candidates, boys? Let me check. I, so okay, I was talking a about this Mario a, game. I, it's not even been out for like a month. <laughs> a Mario game has got been nominated for game of the year. I was not expecting that. No, I don't think it's gonna win. But like, I was not expecting that. <laughs> so, like, holy shit, right? Like, I mean, yeah, I like no. wonder. I didn't finish it yet, but I, I, I don't think it was that you, good. Like, you, know that where, you know what? You know what? You know what section it was in that made me laugh hysterically. Mario What's, Wonder was in the best multiplayer section. I mean, yeah, it's up there. <laughs> no, uh, but, come but on. like, no, it was it was alongside like Street Fighter Six and like oh there was um I'll bet. Well, come on, David. That's like that's like, some that's some competition weird, there. Like Mario <laughs> Wonder is way more accessible than a fighting game like Street Fighter Six. No, just best multiplayer. They had access. They had a best accessibility section, and Mario's not even on there. <laughs> yeah. well, what part of like good multiplayer would it have besides accessibility? The three David. of us could hop on Mario Wonder, and we David. could have a good time. You want to know what's on innovation and accessibility? You want to know <laughs> what game is in there? Show me. What, what, read it. Read it. Diablo Four. Diablo 4's on there, which is hilarious. <laughs> the game's not- the game's not fucking done. Yeah! <laughs> it never will be! And <laughs> it's never fucking gonna be! Either. <laughs> Dude, Jerma hated that game. Dude, Jerma was, like, so vehemently hating that game. Yeah, he was really pissed off about it, actually, Everyone he Everyone was so Diablo. excited, too. Like, you know the thing is that I- was I, excited. Like, but that, Diablo, that's the Diablo thing, like, Diablo 3, Diablo 3, I used Diablo 3. to, like, Love it when like people started hating on a game because it was just funny, really. But like you know, I remember like how you know just everyone's been hating Blizzard, and I thought like, oh come on, Diablo Four, please don't fuck this up, and they fucked okay. it up. And then I felt real bad because it's like I remember I my first Diablo game was uh two, but I well, didn't I really three. get I didn't really get to play it um mm -hmm. that crazily uh like a lot of other people that I knew did they like sold yeah. accounts that was insane to me They're, like they <laughs> like, they they had a whole market for fucking characters and accounts like on eBay and everything oh, so I have a cousin who like you know has been playing RuneScape since he was a young oh. lad he's oh, like done ridiculous things with that don't even get me fucking started there so yeah uh best multiplayer section has Baldur's Gate three Diablo four Party Animal Street Fighter six and then just Mario wonder which i'm just like i get mario wonder was really good multiplayer wise but this is what you're putting it up against it's not gonna win also <laughs> gonna... I, I forgot there was a final fantasy 16 that really just went over my head I, like I when that happened that, i think it's an illegitimate category though i think it's one of the fan categories is it no it's, a, yeah, it's under the it's a, it says best multiplayer presented by discord or is that just an ad no, that's, that's, that's an just, ad. That's a sponsor. That's just an okay, ad. Because I'm on the website. It's nominees best multiplayer. Yeah. Oh, no, sponsored by sponsored Mario, by Discord. Yeah, Mario Wonder got nominated for a lot. It actually also yeah. got it can, got nominated for best direction. Wow. Yeah, can it's I, weird. Oh, by I, the way, dude, Alan Wake. <laughs> Wonder was fucking so good. Like the oh, fact yeah. that they yeah. the reason it's getting nominated for so much is because they literally had an infinite Mario game. In Mario Maker 2, it is an infinite yeah. Mario yeah. game, and everybody were picking video essays and asking questions. Where the hell does Mario, does 2D Mario go from here? And How can they go. ever make it unique again? And they fucking did. 
all you had to do was make Daisy playable, Nintendo, and that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's all that fucking, that's, uh, what did I tell you? You know, the best girl. No, what actually happened is the Wonder Flower is actually mm. so beautifully implemented. It oh, literally yeah. does do something different in every single level in the game, which increases mm. the replayability value and actually really gives you, no pun intended, that sense of wonder. Like, what mm -hmm. is going to happen in this level? I don't know. There was this one level I went to where it's a water level and you grab it, and then the sea and the sky literally switch. And like the water, oh. like just literally switches Ooh. to the sky, and you're in, you're still in the sea, but then the water is up the there. The water's up there. Wow. Yeah, uh -huh. All they, all they had to do, like Evan, it's just like the Mr. Krabs YouTube poop. All they had to do was like <laughs> take us on. All they had to do was take us on an acid trip. <laughs> oh, dur, 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 dur. I, can I just say there is one game in Game of the Year that I think if it wins, that is some fuck shit. I know. I already know which one you're gonna it's say. It's tears. It's tears of the kingdom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know. fucking knew it. I knew it. I'm too. not saying that. They're okay, gonna give it's... an asset flip. That's Game the thing. That's it's the an thing. Asset like, flip. you know, let's I... be honest. Cause... Let's fucking be yeah. honest for yeah, a yeah, minute. No, no, yeah. we, no. We all agree in here. Like, I truly <laughs> feel like it's just. I'm not saying it's a bad game, Zelda fans. You're getting a movie too eventually, so you know, just quit, quit, quit crying there. But I'm Dennis, just saying it's, it's no, it's not. No, it, it has to be no, it no, has no, no. to be Baldur's. No. It's gonna be Baldur's Gate. Baldur's I, Gate was yeah. such a standout. Money, it's gonna be Baldur's Gate Probably, because yeah. it is the Elden Ring of this fucking uh, category. generation. Yeah. Like yeah, <laughs> like it's just I have never seen something be so loved in my life. Well, the funniest and thing and the funniest thing, thing about bots, it is I. People will make bots just to fucking vote on this thing. <laughs> I guarantee you. There will the be funniest thing tons of about people. It, I swear to God, though, I, I think the funniest thing about it is that I'm pretty sure Nintendo literally delayed Tears of the Kingdom to make sure it gets nominated for Game of the Year. I'm Too serious. Bad. I'm pretty sure that's why. <laughs> I mean, it got nominated. It Nobody think It got nominated. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I don't so, think it's going to... It was already give... amazing enough when Breath of the Wild did win back in 2017 because they're like, what is Zelda's place in the modern gaming sphere? And then that and Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it, like, like, yeah, it's the one that invented all this shit. <laughs> yeah. But now you're not the new hotness anymore. These other people have capitalized it on an amazing <laughs> And the fact that it's Zelda better. game... <laughs> the fact that a Zelda game then won that, you gotta admit, is kind of amazing. It, like, Whoa, even, like, it fucking, deserved it. Absolutely. What is, so, what is the Zelda director's name again? the guy on the direct i always forget his name oh. aonuma yeah K is like, it kg like, or is it kg or K I, I don't know i don't know yeah, yeah, I, the point is anuma literally popped up out of his seat like he was a fucking smash player like just <laughs> like jumping out of there and popping yeah they did and i'm like that's great so but truthfully told like as ag like, tears of the kingdom e wins e again I. i'm sorry it's gonna be like if like fucking mario galaxy 2 got nominated <laughs> and I'm, they'd won I, i'm gonna yeah, just you know and i'm just gonna reiterate again like well, uh, to all them Zelda fans out there, like all twelve of you, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, then you, it don't. Are you fucking stupid? Which one? It, it, it don't deserve. <laughs> have Zelda in our audience. In our it's audience. Huge. In our audience. You gotta. Stop I'm not saying, saying there's twelve. Have, you gotta stop saying we have a twelve man audience. Why? It's funny. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, yeah I'm just saying yeah, to all 12 of y'all. Yeah, it's because you don't have to edit this shit and, like, <laughs> upload it and post it and stuff. And wait, work your fucking wait, wait, wait. ass off. You're just a shitty co-host sitting there in your room like the fucking hey, I bring content. that you are. I bring oh, content. Oh, yeah, you bring content. You fucking venmo me $60 to get you Mario RPG when it comes out because you didn't want to leave your fucking house, you trog. I just gave you money. I didn't say, hey, buy this for me and I won't pay you back. That's literally what you said. No, I, I gave you the money, though. Mom, my Dad, point please is, stop fighting. My point is, you didn't even want to leave your fucking house to I'm get not, I'm the I'm still going to leave my house anyways. I have to still go pick it up at your place. <laughs> it's, oh, Fair. I guess. Fair. Fair. <laughs> All, All I'm right. saying, though, at least going back to Zelda. I'm oh. not saying it's a bad game. Okay? It's a great game. Okay. A great asset flip. One of the one of the asset flips of all time, but I'm gonna be real. If this game fucking wins game of the year, fuck you. You know what Nothing. would be even funnier? Yeah. If, Re if Resident Evil Four wins. Oh I my Resident god. Was good. No, it's yeah, just but like, it, but it's it, it's just because it's a remaster. That's it. Oh no, yeah, okay, yeah, fair. That's I the only reason. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. And it, it's not like Final Fantasy VII remake. You know, where it's like oh literally a completely different way to play that the is game. Fair. Like completely. Yeah, that is fair. No, yeah. it's like literally just Resident Evil 4 brought into the modern landscape. That's all it is. And like, you know, can, can I ask something real quick? Sorry, Evan. Like, <laughs> if 
Final Fantasy. There's like seven. There, there used to be seven Game of the Year nominations, and they like they made it six, and one of them is a remaster. The other's an asset flip. The third one's a <laughs> Mario game. Like th- this one is really weird, right? Like isn't this like the weirdest like it's game a weird of the year one to vote on list of it's, all time? Yeah, it's Definitely. a really weird one to vote. Oh, vote on. I, I want to ask for next year. Can right? I write in Sonic Frontiers again? <laughs> Why not? Do it. Sonic Frontiers was written in for Game of the Year for the Fan Game of the Year category, not like oh, last really? year. Oh really? Oh, yeah. that was pretty hype though. Okay, it was I like ri- that. yeah, it was written in, and that, that the, game was. I know so the Game of the good. Year category is made by whatever committee they're uh, they twelve year olds essentially. Yeah, so <laughs> like at the very least, it's like at least the fact that it's even on a list is really uh, makes me happy. But what I wanted to ask is like, um, so because Final Fantasy VII is essentially wrapping up. The, the remake is essentially wrapping up or wrapping up now. Part two, and like, yeah. Yeah, like the final part. Um, part two. Of the, <laughs> part two, part two, part two, part two, part two, of the part game, two, part two. Uh, will be, be releasing, I believe. Uh, like the conclusion of it basically yeah. is going to be, is coming. Do you think at all like that will be even be considered d- yes. down the line? Oh, definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. You see how many people froth at the mouth when they just showed like a screenshot of the fucking <laughs> box art? Like, <laughs> like Fair, fair, fair. I just wanted to get your opinions on it because like I know at least when Seven was announced and even after people played it, it was kind of divisive in that like a lot of old guard who played the originals like they're like this isn't the Final Fantasy 7 that I grew up with and you know like it's, I think it's, David's dying. it's combat is not this is so Kingdom Hearts-esque if I wanted to play Kingdom Hearts combat I would have just played Kingdom Hearts like and you know people even were comparing it to uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 because of how just like similar the combat yeah. flow kind of was yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. even I thought like you know this game's f- like this is how like uh, Ungo um. Bongo, like gorilla, I am. Whenever like I play like certain remasters, like because Square Enix has never failed to give you like oh, a no, visually yeah. pleasing experience. Uh. I have never seen any Square Enix game look like dog shit in my life. Like nope. Even like I, people may even say, "Well, PS One Final Fantasy is like so dated." It's like for the time though, people thought that shit was fucking revolutionary. I mean, for Christ's sake, Square Enix knows how to make a fucking remaster because I've heard stuff about the Mario RPG remaster already. I I hear it is fucking phenomenal. I I, I, I I hear it's amazing. Like, dude, Dennis, did you listen to the the remix of Beware of the Forest Mushrooms? I did. That I sent you. Oh man, dude! And they even kept the original OST, which I'm so happy about. I was in such a horrible, horrible mood last night because <laughs> I've been doing nothing but working and uh. go, going through a harrowing mental health journey, realizing that the roots of all of my problems and things that I don't do in life is a root cause of my Asperger syndrome. And I listened to that shit last night, and I felt like a child. <laughs> I, 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 I I just laid there for a Love second, that. and like I, it, it hit the neuron in my brain that took me to heaven. <laughs> the ape <laughs> meme where the neurons I, activated. <laughs> and can I just say for a second, by the way, the way that Nintendo advertised that game on Twitter, fucking stupid. <laughs> I heard there it was, it's like, full uh, stop. Not- they went like, dude, there was a clown car, right? It was a shot of Mario, Mallow, and Bowser in the clown car, right? Okay. And so the caption was like, Mario, Mallow, and <clears throat> Bowser? <laughs> As if Bowser is the one that the fucking Zoomers looking at that shit isn't going to recognize. Not the little cloud kid that hasn't been in a game since 1990 fucking six. <laughs> Why are you talking about Bowser? As if that's the weird one there. Bowser? Uh, <laughs> it's like Mario and Bowser team up. Isn't that rare? That never ha- That has happened in so many fucking Mario games at this point. <laughs> I think I think he has a super, I think he has a coupon code. Paid. Yeah, he's got a fucking coupon code that he's got to like punch in like he got him for his like fucking birthday. The amount of games that that shit has happened in Super Paper Mario, Mario RPG, Bowser's Inside Story technically, all these fucking games where that's happened and it's like why are you talking I I, I don't get it. <laughs> it. It made me mad. Like that's not the character that the Zoomers recognize. I, I'm just, well, overall I'm just we're saying, excited for RPG. We I'm all are. I'm so fucking excited. Oh, Fully fleshed cutscenes and shit. Oh. I already got my copy on the shit. way from yeah. uh, my own personal Nintendo uh, ambassador. <laughs> ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> so going back to the game of the, it's gonna look game. so sus because I'm literally have to buy. I have to buy two copies <laughs> that day, and so I can't why? do it from. I can't do it from the same store. <laughs> you have to go to. They're gonna think I'm a scalper. Tell them like, you know, I'm, t- show them the badge. That's what the badge is for. You gotta I'm, be like, I'm boom, look who, who am I, motherfucker? <laughs> Give me my game. Fuck you. you I mean, did I show like you? Did you see the standees that Nintendo sent me? 
No. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I gotta send no, that to you they, right now. Hold up, Evan. They actually look pretty bomb. Like, uh, I, oh, I was, I, I was asking him, like, yo, how much for one of them? And he's like, oh, whatever <laughs> amount of paycheck that they take away from me if I, so, if they find out I sold it to you. <laughs> no, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, they, I do assisted sales days on Saturdays in stores, and in order to help, I guess, with assisting some, mm-hmm. some fails. Look at, look at what Fables. they fucking sent. Look at what they fucking sent me. Look at this. I sent it to you on Discord. Oh shit, that's fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, I really hope they let me keep them, and I could just put them in my room as like a background for like videos or like a stream layout. Which, by the way, I'm gonna jump scare I everybody saw- listening to this podcast right now. You know what I did two days ago? I saw it. <laughs> you saw you what? <laughs> Why didn't you well, say anything? Well, because I I didn't catch it. I like I saw it on my phone. I was like, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, dude. At Dennis, I streamed two nights ago. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I, I listen. It was so uh, impromptu. It was right? quite the I jump had... scare. I'll tell you. Right? And it was <laughs> I, no, it was I, a jump I, scare I, for me. I wasn't thinking about doing it all day. I got home and I'm like, I really, really, really want to play Nasby two. Really fucking bad. <laughs> I really want to get on ranked finally because I saw all my friends are like getting on ranked. They're already fucking pearl and shit. And I'm like, shit. I got. I got to get grinding. And then I realized. You know what? This would actually be fun to stream because then a chat would help me get better at the game, and then I'd have like vods to look at and stuff. And I just thought it'd be fun. It just felt right. I just felt like doing it with the chat. And I hadn't gone to the gym in forever. So you want to know what I did, this? <laughs> every time I lost, every time I lost, I had to do ten uh, side raises. Nice. Like, oh, with, like with my nice. dumbbells, I was I was doing that, which helped motivate me to win, and it helped me finally get my workout in as well. It was perfect. The whole thing was perfect, honestly. I had a really good time doing it, and I know I made a solemn vow that I was never going to stream on Twitch ever again. And then I saw, and I was like, what year is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably, I, I didn't, I didn't, listen, it's just because I didn't, I don't know how to stream on YouTube. I, I didn't. I, I, it was impromptu. I didn't have time to troubleshoot it, set it up. I'll pro- I'm probably gonna try streaming on YouTube next time and see how it goes. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. Giving Jeff yeah. his mon- your money, eh? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Twitch has been making slut. some actual- Twitch has been making some good changes recently, and YouTube defended Snuggle I did hear- I did so, hear that, yeah. Uh, I mean, so. you- they flip-flop between being- one being good, the other one being bad. All the yep. time. That yep. just I, constantly yep. happens. I, I feel as if that's just the balance that needs to be. <laughs> so one of them has to be terrible, one of them has to be doing pretty well. It's just gotta, like, get that ebb and flow, basically. Because if it's they like both Irwin. were great, then there's no reason for me to pick either, really. It's like, okay, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. like, you know, I can yeah, pick either balanced. or, like, think I have choices. Perfectly balanced as all things should be, yo. So, speaking <laughs> of Nasby, Fucking too, Irwin right? from, from Billy and Mandy. <laughs> Billy and Mandy. Oh, yeah, Evan, Evan, yeah, Hey, Mandy. Oh, all right, sorry. There was a there's a category on uh on there called best fighting. Nasby, you know, fighting. Nasby, Nasby, best Nasby, fighting. Nasby, 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 so Japanese Hold best on. fighting. There's only 3 games on here that I recognize out of the 5. And two of which I'm I came out like well two of which came out very recently. One is Nasby 2, obviously. Mortal Kombat 1, Street Fighter 6, and then the other two are God of Rock and Pocket Bravery. Uh what is- what are the other two? <laughs> MK1, Street Fighter 6, and... Nasby 2. And Nasby 2. So, every, everything else I could just disregard. Yeah, pretty much. There's, there's, no way, there's no way in hell they're even gonna be able to compete with the three of them. Like, I mean, Mortal Mortal Kombat, Kombat, MK1's already pretty oh, high MK1's up there, already pretty high so up there, yeah. I'm like, this is kind of sh- unfair <laughs> to <laughs> hit them against <laughs> this. Street Fighter's gonna win. Street Fighter's gonna win, because it's Street Fighter ha- yeah. was the most revolutionary in terms of what a traditional fighter can be, that's in why, terms of single yeah. player, but and I, casual. That's why I think it's only gonna be between uh, MK1 and Street Fighter 6. I mean, okay, yeah. you, anyone could argue, yeah, Street Fighter 6 probably has it in the bag, but... MK, MK1's MK1, pretty, MK1 pretty... MK, I mean, MK, MK1, MK1, MK1 is, MK1's got MK1's some got, criticisms got, of it, though, but it's like... It's got yeah, Omni-Man, it. so they, it's already pretty good for me. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta check out some of the dialogue in that, you'd appreciate it a lot. I, 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 I actually like watched some clips. I, as soon as yeah. he got released, I, I, my recommended just got flooded with all <laughs> these fucking clips of him just, like, uh, squaring um, up with people. I'm gonna say something in the most hetero way I possibly can. Yes. Omni Man is a dilf. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, he's a dilf. Yeah. The fact that he pulls off a mustache like that and still, I can look at him and like as a straight man, I could be like, 
Damn. He, he's daddy. fucking handsome as shit. As, like, as I, like, daddy. He, like, he's literally daddy as fuck, which is why they designed him. Like, I'm saying it as a he's straight the guy. man. I'm saying it as a straight dude. When I look at Omni-Man in Mortal Kombat 1, I'm like, God damn. One thing, though, that I'm kind That's of sad about. Daddy as shit. Aaron Starr is not going to be voicing Homelander. Oh, uh, when he gets when oh, he's coming, he's I, heard, yeah, I heard he's not. I heard he's not going to be the oh, voice. Oh, that sucks! Oh my god! And after god. they got Omni Man, J.K. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, J.K. Simmons I, is the goat. Like he'll he'll do yeah. it. Like J.K. You know. Though he's done voice work already. He's been known for it. He's done a lot so, of yeah. voice work. Yeah, like, and one of his under known voice roles, he's in the Venture Brothers. That's who. The he plays plug. um. <laughs> He, yeah, he played yeah, the, the, the weekly plug of the greatest show of all time. Uh, Did you get the DVD? No, get it for me for Christmas. Okay, fine. Get it for you for Christmas. Okay, thanks. Hopefully I'll have a job by then. You can just comfortably get that for you. And also 90 goddamn dollars, because that's how much it is. I know, Damn. yeah, I saw. Yeah, he showed me a picture of it, and like I even I was like being a low-key a bad influence. He's just saying, you'll buy it. <laughs> but, like, just do it, just buy it. And, like, and then, I but he, he, I didn't cave, he didn't cave, he didn't no, cave. He didn't cave. That's funny. My charm was not enough. Let me get something to play DVDs first. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Um, uh, before the Venture Brothers. Um, oh, yeah, J.K. Simmons. No, he yeah. played... Um, yeah. Um, he played a friend of Jonas Venture who, like, secretly lived on the Venture compound for a really long time. Like, that's a homeless man? I forget the character. <laughs> no, he looked like a homeless man. He had, like, a beard and everything. Yeah, that's what I like, mean. He, he just, like, lived under their, like, floor, I guess, or whatever? No, he, he lived on their compound. He had, like, a little mini house that he lived in. Oh. And, uh, mm. yeah, he, um, yeah, he played, I forget the character's name, but he played, like, a very, like, lore heavy or like exposition like the level scientist like he's like okay. the kind of character they bring in like to really establish exposition he's the one who like announces the big reveal at the end of the venture brothers movie that came out at the end like he's the character that says it oh so uh yeah that's and that was voiced by jk simmons uh yeah JK's i looked up fucking pro pocket bravery inspired by classic fighting games from the 90s such as street fighter fatal fury and the king of fighters Pocket bravery channels the neo geo pocket aesthetic for a modern fighting game with oh, a retro it's a twist it looks like the Scott. It looks like the Scott Pilgrim game, but like it, as a it, fighting game. Like it, straight it up. Reminds me I'm of actually like, hyped for that show. Just saying. That show looks great. Yeah. It yes. Does. <laughs> it really. It really does. That show looks incredible. To be honest. Uh, what else do we got in here? Um, um we got I best had, family I, game. Pikmin Four. Pikmin Four is on there. Yeah. The Pikmin. Best Pikmin's terrifying. <laughs> Mar oh, Mario Wonder is gonna win best family game. Well, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Because listen oh. to me. All the other ones are Mario. Mar other Mario Wonders. We have Sonic Wonders. We have Disney Illusion Wonders. <laughs> Look at that. It's like all the four-player freaking like, wow. platformer games. I will admit, though, Disney Illusion Island I actually really wanted to get and would have gotten had there not been two other fucking major franchises releasing four-player co-op platformer games. Because yeah. it's a platformer where you can play as Goofy. <laughs> which is pretty, pretty hype. Speaking of uh, other categories, Best Art Direction has... Alan Wake 2. Has have either of you even tried to play Alan Wake 2? Nope. That game is ugh, it's not a game. It is an oh. experience. Because okay. like it I was feels say it's dog shit. No, no, no. No, okay, no. It, <laughs> it feels like the video game version of an art house movie. It is <laughs> I am it is so fucking bonkers weird. I played the first hour and I was like I don't understand what's going on. I know this is supposed to do with, like, the other games, but I have no clue. The game starts out with you as, a, like, you know, with a deer head in the water, right? Mm -hmm. Like, halfway in the water. Pans out of the lake, and then you're just a naked, middle-aged white man walking through the forest. And then you die by a cult. So... And then you're, and then you're playing as an FBI agent named, um... Oh, what the fuck the is her name? Terminator. No, he's he, no the guy's straight up dead. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Well, what the what the hell is the fucking FBI character's name? Oh, and also okay. under best art direction, Mario Wonder again. Holy Honestly, shit, he got nominated for so much. The best way I can describe Alan Wake Two in terms of like how weird it is the the person who plays a character in there, Alex Casey, right? That's the character's name. Is played <laughs> by a um. The real life person named oh what the fuck is his name? Hold on. Alex Casey. I have a question. Yes. <laughs> Do you guys think Final Fantasy 16 got robbed? Yes. Well actually okay. no. No. Uh I don't think they got robbed, but I do think they had some stiff competition. 
<laughs> but at the very least, Square Enix has rebirth on their most anticipated game of the year. So, okay. I mean, something. <laughs> Which is a yeah. fucking Mario game. <laughs> it's not even out yet, either. It's just like, you're gonna get an award for not even coming out yet? <laughs> <laughs> That's some ass guess, backwards shit, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, that's so kind of fucked. That that defeats the whole point. If I'm keeping it a buck with you, it's like you get an award for what? For not being released yet? <laughs> Game Awards. I got an award. So Alex Casey is played by the real life person, um, Sam Lake, who is the creative director of Alan Wake. Funniest thing is his voice is not his voice. <laughs> His voice is the guy who plays Max Payne. Oh my oh, god. Wow. And the reason why it gets so fucking like meta is it's the game director talking to Alan Wake about he how he's a character of Alan Wake. Because Alan Wake's the writer. And it's like, <laughs> what the, played by the guy who's not even him. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> like what there's FMV movies in that game. <laughs> oh my god. Like, what, what is this game? <laughs> it's... Well, you know, uh, we're gonna wrap it up here, guys, soon in a bit, but, like, you know, at least in the case of Alan Wake 2, it's like... You know, a lot of times, because when I was younger, right, I always used to complain, it's like, what the fuck is this? It's so weird. And then I realized it's just like maybe I'm just too stupid to not like understand it. Well, no, like, this, maybe... this game makes me feel like I missed something. Yeah, exactly. Like, did I miss somewhere? Like, did I miss something? Like, when they like when I was playing it, like. But the thing is, is that you never feel like that you hate the game. Oh. Like, it's just that like, it's it is um what do you call it engrossing and like you yeah. just feel like you know you're like it's like weird like you are enjoying it. But it's just like those questions that are still playing in your mind of like, you know, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> no, like that was literally the opening of this game. I was like, what in the fuck is happening? We're in, we're supposed to be in like America and everyone's speaking Polish. It's like, <laughs> it's like, what, the fuck? <laughs> it's like, what I mean, country I am I in? The devs are Polish, but it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, hey, Polish devs made uh, cyberpunk. That's true. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Alan Wake 2 is really just, like, a Blumhouse film made into a game, but, like, a good Blumhouse <laughs> film, not the bad Blumhouse films. <laughs> David, did I you have some thoughts? Yeah, I do regret to report that Starfield has, in fact, been nominated uh, for one category. Well, I was yeah. Walking through, Simulator? I was going through the list, and I was yep. laughing my ass off, because I'm like, yeah, it didn't get nominated for shit. Let's good, go. As it, as it, it does not deserve nominated. It got nominated for best RPG. And Baldur's Gate's uh, there, so it's not winning. It's not winning. There's no way it's winning. Baldur's no, Gate is in the you same category. How, you know how autistic these Bethesda fanboys be? They literally, like, will, like, you even no, say, no. you say one bad thing about Skyrim, they'll fucking cut your balls off, or, like, they'll want to. Like, that's <laughs> how, to. like, that's how bad, like, they be sometimes. And, like, people, I, like, they still are all hung up on that whole it's a slow burn fucking argument it's it's, not, it gets it's, good it's, after 13 hours it's like nah bro it gets good <laughs> after i after i've played it and it burns and itself into my retinas and then uninstalled the fucking game afterwards because jesus lord heaven and christ like when they say 13 hours is that how long it takes to install it <laughs> it's to install pretty, all the mods yes it's a pretty fat ass <laughs> game not gonna lie to though. install all the mods that make it playable yeah just play no man's sky jesus christ look y'all can say what you By want way, on nintendo but they know how to condense the sizes of their fucking games bro. they fuck. know how to do that shit Thank by fuck. the way <laughs> going back to bungie right funnily enough uh <laughs> where is it uh it was like best supported game or something like that and, Destiny? And, and Destiny was on there, and I laughed. Yeah, best community support. <laughs> the two on there that I think are going to win is probably, or I think it's going to win is probably No Man's Sky, because No Man's Sky is on there. But Destiny it, 2 is on there. <laughs> if it's either that or Cyberpunk that I think deserves it, because they came back uh, pretty well, well after well, the thing um, about Cyberpunk with Phantom Liberty. Is, Yes, with Phantom Liberty. But the thing about Cyberpunk that I didn't even think about is Cyberpunk, yes, it had like a comeback, but it wasn't because they changed the game fundamentally before Phantom Liberty. Mm -hmm. They just fixed it. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't I, don't, want, I don't want Cyberpunk 2077 to win anything ever. The thing is, no, though, because No Man's Sky I, just. I don't care. The fact that <laughs> no, they launched it in that state, I don't give a shit. Oh, no, yeah, it obviously. Of course, it. Yeah. of course. I don't no Man's care. Sky. 
is so such an anomaly that like, the people who Brandon played it's not Brendan Fraser. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not, not like a person <laughs> who made a comeback after getting sexually assaulted, you know, and like having his career stripped from him. It's a game. All right, made by a company <laughs> that just wants your money. I don't give a fuck. No like, Man's right, Sky like, is one of those fair. rare games that is just like people want to give them money, but Hello Games just refuses because they. they yeah, because I mean, Hello Games is like you. People keep just keep, just keep telling No Man's Sky or Hello Games. You know we have money, right? Yeah. Do you want it? No. <laughs> Take more free shit. Take it. <laughs> it's mad funny. It'd be like that Mandark shit. It's like so like this. So this is your wallet. <laughs> Yeah. So take so take it. It's no. not my wallet. It's not my wallet. <laughs> it has your name in it, right? You are yeah. Patrick Star. Correct. That's me. Yep. Then take your wallet. That's and not my this, wallet. I found this ID in this wallet. So Therefore, it is it yours. It must be your wallet. Well, that's weird. It's not mine. To me. <laughs> then take it. It's not my wallet. <laughs> That little bit makes me. You, this that never fails to make me laugh. It's so funny. Yumpering Simpo dropped that box on my foot. What, what's in that box, anyhow? My, my wallets. My wallet. <laughs> my wallets. Basically, guys, we're gonna wrap it Pizza up here. Tower. I think uh, Pizza closing, Tower got uh, nominated for best debut indie game. That's pretty. Closing cool. thoughts. Yeah. Uh, at least just for all the shit that's been going on. Stop giving corporations money that they don't deserve. Okay. Late stage capitalism. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're we're about to have a government shutdown in five days. So oh my just fucking like, god! So just you know, maybe <laughs> save your money somewhere else. I you know stop giving it to corporations for five minutes of happiness. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, instead give it that. to the give it to the government so they can continue funding a genocide. Yep. Yep. Either or, whatever's your preference. I don't care. Yeah. But um, you know, just also uh, going into the game awards. Um, this seems a little unfair to brackets. Seem pretty unfair for some. You category. really think so? Because I have no idea who's gonna win Game of the Year this year. Well, for I still one, think it's Balders. You we see some categories, we just know they're not gonna win. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like well, fighting that's games every wise. Award show no, no, no. Ever. But it's just like, but that's what I mean. It's like you know, their main thing will be for those uh, games that won't probably win. They'll be like, oh, well, at least we were nominated. You know. It's gonna be DiCaprio before he got his uh, Oscar. Finally, he's just like at least he was nominated. Like <laughs> at least he was nominated. So you think maybe the Academy held off from giving like Leo, giving Leo, giving Leo, Leo his Oscar. Okay. Uh, MK, MK, MK Leo, Leo. Uh, for giving Leo his Oscar for as long as they did because they know he likes him young. Maybe? Do you think that's the? Do you think that's the reason? Maybe? Do you think maybe they knew he likes him? Well, actually, mm, never mind. That's encouraged in Hollywood. Yeah. Mm, my bad. Mm. My bad. If anything, like, you know, Hollywood likes him younger than L Leo. <laughs> they, like... they, only, they get him young, though. That's the thing. Like, uh, Leo uh, was a kid uh, when he first started. He was a literal kid. I will say, people who get groomed often wind up grooming people themselves as they, once they get to that age. It uh, becomes a vicious Abusees cycle. become the abusers. That happens a lot more a than people think. Cycle. Yeah. Like fat bastard. I eat because I'm unhappy. <laughs> and I'm unhappy because I eat. I eat. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. I went on the subway diet. I lost 180 pounds. Tears of the Kingdom does not deserve Game of the Year. Fuck yourselves. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfor unfortunately, I do have a little bit of excess skin, though. And on top of that, my neck looks like a vagina. All right, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I want Mario Wonder to win Game of the Year for the lols. Make me laugh. They just like, like make me laugh. Yeah, I, th I think I would actually like jump, like on a spike. <laughs> Miyamoto <laughs> would probably be bragging about it for years, for nah. years. Nah, he will. Nah, he nah, will. No, he wouldn't. The no, Japanese would. are too polite. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they'll just be bragging about it behind closed doors. Yeah, you just, you just see like as, the, as they fucking shoot. No, 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 but like Miyamoto, as they like, shoot. like they they announce it. They like he's call not call a Baldur's Gate. Be like, ha. Watch Miyamoto not even be the first for the ceremony. He like has a live stream at his like living room on his fifty like fifty thousand inch TV. And he'll just be and, like, like <laughs> he just like be like to his wife. It's like just one second, honey. He goes to his room. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> he just comes back out. It's like, oh, what happened? With a, with a glass of wine, like, oh, what happened? <laughs> He's already he already has the celebratory wine. Yeah, all they all they had to do was get rid of Charles. <laughs> oh, oh! I hope yeah. Charles is there too. He should be there. 
It's a Mario uh, game. He has to be there. I really don't know what's going to win this. I, I, I really don't. If I, oh, if game I of the year, to, you mean? Yeah, if I had to guess, I, I it's probably going to be Baldur's Gate. If I really did have to guess. I feel like Spider-Man 2 is more culturally significant. I've said but a million times. Not enough for it to win Game of the Year. No. Resident Evil 4 is a remaster. Mario Wonder is a 2D Mario game. Which asset did flip. Change a lot. No, no, no. Tears. You think of Tears of the Tears Kingdom of the asset, asset flip. flip. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I, I don't know. This one's yeah, probably Baldur's Gate. If I had to guess, it's Baldur's Gate, man. No game has been loved this year more than Baldur's Gate. That's a fucking fact. That and like people were just so so ready to hop on the Baldur's Gate train. Like after after everyone saw, wow, this game's great, and the company actually loves its fans. Whoa! Because <laughs> they were a yeah. bunch of nerds like we are. Because <laughs> all of them were D&D people, literally. All of them. That's why they made Divinity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is a project out of love. A lot of these, Labor they are too, love. but like, Baldur's Gate's a different type of love, in my opinion. Like, this was oh, yeah. a passion project. There's passion projects, and then there's capital P passion projects. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, or quotation one, passion projects. One last question. Yes. To before we go, is this the both is, of us? Yes. Okay. Is Baldur's Gate the game where like you fuck a bear? You can fuck I bear mean, people. You can fuck bear people. Well, don't you remember there was that big controversy? Yes, like, about, yes, like, it is care. the game where you can fuck a bear and have a threesome with the bear. Yes. <laughs> I, I, fuck that! I don't. I don't want this game to win. Then. <laughs> Bestiality's gay, bro. To be fair, he is a druid, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, never mind. I don't want to the like Mario, people Mario will literally roleplay the weirdest shit, though. This, like, this is nothing new at all. No, listen, listen. It's the bard. Oh. The bard will just go, can I fuck it? No, like, I don't want to like talk to it. A roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the orgy realism simulator. You know, apparently at a lot of orgies, they do start with just playing D&D, &D, and then they just slowly start groping each other. <laughs> As they're rolling their dice. They're just all bards, I guess. <laughs> yeah, from, from, from what I've heard. I will admit, that does sound like a fun sexual fantasy. You know, just be playing D&D &D with somebody and then, like, y'all start to take it a little too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys. Uh, Dennis, hey, why, gonna, why are you looking at, why are you looking at me like gonna, that? We're uh, gonna end it here. <laughs> you know I'm right. Because you know our, I'm right. my co-host just literally said I'd fuck a bear. Like, unapologetically. <laughs> So, you know, that's... Not, even uh, anth not anthropomorphic either. Just a bear. You, you can't even get consent from a bear, David. The fuck? Come on, man. <laughs> do you that's think not the cool. Bear, do you think the bear, when it got fucked, it was just like, Oh, bother. <laughs> <laughs> not again. <laughs> I mean, like he, he, was, I mean, he was the already bear, not wearing pants. So, the bear, I mean, as he's getting sodomized, he completely forgets, Wait, I'm a bear. <laughs> I could kill these that? people. I could kill these people. Oh, I could literally off these people with my bare hands. Oh, yeah, there's a, yeah, they made a Winnie the Pooh movie like that, too. I know. Five Nights at well, Freddy's was better. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it was. Even though Markiplier wasn't in it. But we did get Josh theory. Hutcherson. Matt Pat. And Matt <laughs> Man, the fact that he said that's just a theory, it, it pisses me off. <laughs> you know, like, it was like... I mean, he was talking about food as well in that yeah. scene. It was just like, what the fuck? When he, when he did that scene, he probably rolled his eyes. It's like... <laughs> Internally, like, his uh, eyes were rolling. Uh, <laughs> but fine, you know, it's I guess. Oh. It's like, he's still got a good fucking cameo payday for it, so it's just like, hey, like, whatever. <laughs> like, hey, it's just a theory. He know he made a video about the film already. Maybe about how it changes the lore. Did he really? Uh, yes, he did. And it's like the, the fucking like. Why did I think like... any differently? <laughs> I hate Matt Pat. I, I think even Matt. a part of him hates himself, TBH. <laughs> Good, he should. Yeah. His wife left him, which is funny. Actually? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Wait, that's sad. really? Yeah, yeah, like he he like, you know, said to her, it's like <laughs> oh, after she like gave him the paper, she he was just like, "But that's just the theory." A divorce yeah, that's theory. what I would do. Divorce like, theory. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would do. Be like, "Well, this is just a theory, right?" Like, uh, you're, you're, in you're this is all in theory, correct? When you, theory, you're talking about right? hypotheticals, right? <laughs> Guys, God. here are our plugs for you. Uh, Spotify, Apple, YouTube. Uh. Udemy. We on Udemy. Check us out on Udemy. <laughs> it's 
it's I educational. I don't, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's education on this podcast. So, uh, so check us out on there, guys. Show us, uh, show us plenty of the love you gave us for the last uh, couple five videos. Five stars, five stars, um, please. Tell please. us what this is on Spotify. It's tell easy. us it what you th- yeah, and tell us what you think will win uh, game of the year uh, this year. I'll, I'll make a poll. Um, I'll, I'll run a poll. Yeah, and uh, tell me how, why you think. In your copium ask uh, way, why Tears of the Kingdom deserves <laughs> to have a game of the year. And he and will, will read all of them. And I will laugh at every <laughs> single one. I wish uh, YouTube could reply with more emojis so I could just put the laughing emoji for each and every one of them. But um, yeah, this was our po- this was our episode. We we're uh, and we had Evan today, which was always a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, fuck Bungie. Um, Fuck, uh, fuck everyone that deserves it, I guess. <laughs> including the bears. Even including me? the bears. <laughs> e- even, even me, Dennis. So you want to get fucked? <laughs> like in the asshole? Well, uh, no. That's not, what, that's not what I meant. Dennis. Oh, <laughs> Guys, David wants to get sodomized in his own, in his bottle. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Well, I'm gonna make another Nasby video because I said some things in my first one that I uh I, need to I would like about. to address. <laughs> I would like to I would like to address. Um Evan doesn't have anything to plug. Nope. He Here's his Discord. We actually put up his Discord. It's oh like friend him now. <laughs> yeah, hey, we're gonna put up his Discord because Evan, Evan Evan's a bum. He doesn't do anything. His life. He plays so he video games. Plug, I like play video games and go to work. <laughs> Everybody knows you're only cool. Everybody knows you're only cool if you have something to plug. He's an elite, he's an elite gamer. No, I'm thanks, such an elite uh, thanks, gamer. thanks for coming on, Evan. It's always yes. fun. it's always a blast having you. It feels like more like a round table instead of me just having to sit here and you know justify this guy's. <laughs> thanks, David. For- Thanks. Just Thanks, you, man. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I mean, you appreciate know, it. I love you. L- 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 listen, I spent, you know what? I have to sit here and just, you know, like defend your hatred of the, of the opposite sex constantly. <laughs> your pure, unadulterated <laughs> hatred. It gets that a little never looks so confused. It's not hatred. <laughs> Alright, okay. okay it's we're righteous out of our, hatred. Righteous. Uh, ta- we're talking out of our fucking asses. God has told me to bye. hate women, and I will bye, hate bye, women. Bye, 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 bye.